skilled labor. Uh, it's going to be the the ability to build the the amount of facilities and the infrastructure that we're going to need, uh, and the shortage of people to do so. Uh, I think you're going to see aligning with Mike a little bit, you know, with respect to the, the the improvements in technology that are going to be required. I think you're going to see those the focus change maybe from more of the project management side to the actual building side of, of, of uh, you know more prefabricated systems uh, you know to help offset some of the, the labor shortage so you're going to see a, I think a big uptick in, in that type of technology and and, um, and process uh, you know five years from now because we're, we're not going to have the people. I'm going to be the optimist here. I do believe we as a country are figuring out how to bring jobs back to this country. I think the reshoring efforts, I think we can do advanced manufacturing in the U.S. and do it well. So I think there are some opportunities for growth there, and, and it'll be based on technology. I mean, what used to take 10 jobs or 10 people, maybe it would be one person to run that equipment. But I think there's opportunity. I think if we, I think Indiana can win on that one, too, and we're fortunate. We're fortunate to live in the state we live in because of, of where we are with our bond rating and where, what, what we've got and all our uh, deposits we have, where we're located. So.